the competition this week, you're up against the Hungarians, who always the benchmark in this sport. What's that going to be like? Well, we know the Hungarians quite well. We've played the National League last season in Hungary, so a lot of the girls we've played against two, three times a month. And our coach is Hungarian, so we have training camps in Hungary like every three months. And we played against the Hungarians at the European Championships in January, which was a, t a really tough game. I think we lost 19-9, but I don't think the score reflected the game. It was, it was quite a physical game. So hopefully we can give them a good run this time. Yeah, the Hungarians have got a massive history in water polo, so they're always up there at the top. So they've been quite close rivals with us for a few years, so it's going to be interesting to see where we're up to now against them and if we've caught up a bit more, even uh, might be able to beat them, yeah. How hard is it competing for a team like Great Britain, which isn't traditionally a, a water polo country? Um, yeah, there's, there's not too much tradition with water polo in recent years in this country. So, um, that, yeah, it is different compared to other countries where they'll have huge crowds coming down, lots of support, um, both financially and with the crowd and things like that. But it's been brilliant the last few years, having lottery funding, having more people get interested in the sport and all training together at the Performance Centre in Manchester. So it started to get up there with all the other teams. What inspired you to take up water polo? Um, I originally was a swimmer, um, not a very successful swimmer. Um, my older sister started playing water polo, so I moved across to do that and just enjoyed it a lot more than swimming because of the team element and a, a bit more to focus on than just swimming up and down. <laughs> Tell me it's very physical. Yeah, um, I play in goal, so it's not too physical for me, but quite a few of the other girls get out with sort of bruises, scratches, broken ribs, that kind of thing. Whereas I, I'll get, it's not too bad for me in goal, I'll get the, the odd ball in the face, but <laughs> that's as bad as it gets really. Another goalkeeper, obviously a competitive position. Um, yeah, there's three of us competing for two places in the team at the minute, so it is quite tough, yeah. Who's the number one at the moment? Um, on, there isn't really a number one goalkeeper. Rosie's played quite a lot. She's the older goalkeeper, more experienced. Um, but when it comes to the games, I think Celeste's quite... Um, it gives a lot of experience to everyone, because obviously the Olympics is the primary goal, so he just wants to see who the best goalkeeper is for that event, really. So you need a big squad because you get a lot of injuries in this sport. Yeah, especially if you're a goalkeeper. Like you can see, I've broken my little finger that many times that it's just permanently bent, and I've been hit in the face that many times. My nose is probably on one side of my face. Um, and some of the girls that like Alex got broken ribs in Australia in February. Um, Rachel's lost feeling in her foot, so she falls over every five seconds. <laughs> Just things, ridiculous injuries. Are. It's quite surprising, actually, when you when you find out how many injuries there are in water polo. It's obviously quite a risky business, isn't it? Yeah, I think everyone assumes that water polo is like what you play on holiday, Magaluf or something, just bouncing around in the pool, messing around. But it's, I think it's been um, voted for recently as the most physical sport there is, ahead of all sort of American football, rugby, that kind of thing. So it, it is a tough sport, and it is quite physically demanding for us. What about duckings? Do you get any duckings? Any duckings? Yeah. Um, not, not too many, no. <laughs> um, as in pushing each other under the water kind of thing. Um, not, throughout the game, if you, if you watch, you'll see that there are a lot of sort of pushing each other under the water, that kind of thing, but it's not sort of just put, you know, it's just all uh, fighting for position, that kind of thing, to get the ball. If you speak to people after the game, like, they get really excited about stuff that's happened. Like, oh, and you kick that girl in the face. That was really, like, really exciting. And like, if there's a fight and the referees are blowing the whistle constantly, you, you get the crowd jeered up. What about the facilities? It looks tremendous here. Yeah, it's amazing. We couldn't believe it when we came in yesterday and saw the pool just looks amazing, the huge balcony. So it's going to be awesome when all the seats are filled, hopefully with people supporting us. Obviously, you're going to have the home support. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. We're not used to having that many people watching. Um, at a home game for us normally, there'll be sort of two, three hundred people watching, um, whereas this is going to be, I think, five, about 5,000. So it's going to be absolutely crazy for us having that many people all supporting us and hopefully it'll really influence our performance and help us play really to our best. Do you think people are going to be inspired by what they see when they come to the Olympic Games and want to take up water polo? Hopefully, yeah, because normally we get, say, 50 spectators at an event and it's going to be 5,000 people watching and the majority of them won't have played water polo before. So for the first time at an Olympic Games to spectate the sport, surely people are going to start taking it up. There's a lot of talk about legacy. How important is it for you when people come to watch you play that they get inspired by what they see? Oh, it's really important. It's one of our main aims through the Olympics and through all of this preparation is to inspire more people to participate in water polo and just to get the sort of knowledge of the sport a bit, a bit more widely known. Um, 
I think at the moment, if you asked someone in the street what water polo is, they'd have no idea. So our main aim is just for people to come out of this thinking, what a great sport, I'm going to give that a go. How important do you think that local support is going to be? Because you're going to have a lot of people supporting you at the Games. I think it's going to be really important. We had um, the European Bees in Manchester in 2009 and we had a full crowd and the team went on to win the European Bees and I think partly because of the support that we had, we had a huge crowd and everyone was behind Team GB. Everyone was wearing the flag and it's, it's just amazing to see stuff like that at home.